To successfully perform cataract surgery in eyes with a weak zonal, it is important to insert the capsular tension ring, or CTR, accurately into the capsular bag. However, zonular dehiscence may enlarge during the insertion of the CTR, and the situation may worsen even further, as shown in the video. One of the factors known to make CTR insertion difficult is the snagging of the CTR eyelet by the loose peripheral capsule. The capsule loosens at the site of zonier dehiscence after removal of the nucleus. If the leading eyelet of the CTR gets caught by the loose capsule, the CTR stops and cannot be inserted further. If pressed by force, it may augment zonier dehiscence, resulting in capsular rupture. CTR eyelet snagging is happening. The zonier dehiscence has become enlarged because the surgeon continued to push the CTR. The spiral method and the fishtail method are used to insert the CTR in eyes with moderate to severe zonular dehiscence. In the spiral method, a second-hand hook holds the leading eyelet of the CTR, and the ring is inserted into the capsule while retaining the eyelet close to the center of the CCC. However, this method is challenging because bimanual manipulations are required. In this video, we can see the surgeon's hand shaking slightly. This is because single-hand manipulation of the CTR injector is difficult. Even a surgeon having larger hands has difficulty stabilizing the tip of the injector with one hand. We therefore developed the spiral CTR injector a new device that makes it possible for anyone to insert a CTR easily with one hand, without stressing the Zin zonule. A spiral CTR injector has an additional hook attached to the tip of the standard CTR injector. The hook inside the shaft is called the inner hook, and the hook attached to the outside is called the outer hook. This is how the spiral CTR injector is set. Push out the inner hook and engage the CTR eyelet with the hook. After the CTR has been retracted into the injector about halfway, hold the CTR with forceps and engage the other eyelet with the outer hook. The insertion is ready to start. Using artificial capsular bags, we compared the behavior of CTRs being inserted with the standard and the spiral CTR injectors. With the standard injector, the CTR pushes the capsule, generating a torque force and causing a rotational movement of the capsular bag. On the other hand, with a spiral CTR injector, the CTR spreads spirally from the center of the capsular bag, so almost no force is generated to push the capsular bag. Several cases are shown. In this patient, the vitreous body had herniated to the anterior chamber because of the traumatic zonular dehiscence. The tip of the outer hook is placed in the center of the CCC and the CTR is slowly pushed out. By tilting the spiral CTR injector slightly, you can release the eyelets from the hooks. Even in this case, the CTR can be inserted safely by using the spiral CTR injector. This is a challenging case. A patient with pseudo-exfoliation syndrome with a shallow anterior chamber. Because mydriasis is insufficient, an eye ring is placed. The use of a spiral CTR injector enables smooth insertion of the CTR without causing any conflicts between the CTR and eye ring. By using a spiral CTR injector, the CTR expands spirally inside the capsular bag. With this device, snagging of the leading eyelid of a CTR by the loose capsule is less likely to occur, preventing intraoperative troubles. A spiral CTR injector allows surgeons to insert CTRs with one hand, easily, without stressing the capsule or the zinzonial, smoothly and accurately. 
we believe that this new device will dramatically increase the success rate of CTR insertion, even in challenging cases.